Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. Did you know that when it comes to several of your daily utilities, you could be using environmentally friendly products instead of the regular plastic based products easily available in the market? That's right. In this video series, we go deeper into exploring what these products are and how you could get them. However, we have one disclaimer that none of these products are paid promotion. In today's episode, we particularly get into menstrual hygiene products. Let's get straight to it. First up, we have non cloth pads. So, while several of the regular pads are made up of plastic, several companies are offering pads which are made up of completely plant based materials. So, for example, let's take a look at one of these pads by Heyday. These pads by Heyday are made up of organic corn and bamboo pulp and claim to have zero plastic in them. Similarly, pads by Gujarat based Sparkle, also made from corn starch and bamboo, come in three formulations and are determined to create environmental friendly pads at a more affordable rate. Let's take a look at the difference in the prices of these pads. For instance, 30 regular daytime pads by Heyday will cost you 419 rupees while 30 plastic pads by a regular pad manufacturing company will cost you around 269 rupees. However, let's take a look at sparkle pads. Four packs, each containing seven regular daytime pads, that is 28 pads in total, by sparkle cost you 304 rupees. As compared to the plastic pads used in the previous reference, that's a difference of approximately 30 rupees. Either way, try these products and make your pick. So here's the thing. An independent study was conducted to test if these pads were compostable. Since several of these companies claim that their pads can be composted completely. And here's what they found. That you need a particular temperature and environment to compose these pads. Secondly, if you're an individual composting these pads at home, it would take you approximately five to six months to compose these pads completely. During which time, there's going to be a whole pile of pads waiting to be composted. So, although these pads are better alternatives from plastic-based pads, in order to be safe for the environment, they need to be easily compostable. So, are these pads completely environmentally friendly? Yes and no. Next up, we have cloth pads. Cloth pads are made completely of cloth, except a small layer at the bottom of the pad, which is made up of something called PUL. PUL does contain a little bit plastic, but it also helps prevent leakage. So for instance, check out these pads by Ecofem. You can find more details about these pads in the link in the description below. According to Ecofem, using one pad, by Ecofem is equal to using 750 non-cloth regular pads. The good thing about cloth pads is that they can be reused for up to three to five years. Cloth pads are definitely a cheaper alternative to regular pads, but they come with certain downsides. For example, they take a long time to dry in case you don't live in a sunny environment. And since they don't necessarily stick to the underwear, it can cause a lot of leakages. But it's definitely worth a try in case you suffer from rashes and need a solution. Our next product is period panties. Period panties are basically panties with padding near the crotch area where the blood can be collected. However, unlike regular pads, there is significant padding in the crotch area in case of period panties, such that it offers protection for a longer period of time. Much like cloth pads, there is a layer of polyurethane laminate, which prevents leakage and is the only element of plastic in this product. You can reuse period panties for up to two to five years, but it does, of course, require a significant amount of upkeep. Lavos is one such brand in India which provides this product. As mentioned above, you will have to wash and dry your period panties. However, it is a better alternative if cloth pads are not working for you. And finally, here's the thing. Most period panties tend to have this substance called PFSAS in them, 
which is short for polyfluoroalkyl substances. These substances are linked with cancer and reduced fertility, even in small quantities. However, according to one research, it was found that there are three particular brands which have been certified to be free of PFSAS, one of which is called Ruby Love. Ruby Love is a brand which ships worldwide and you could opt for the period panties by Ruby Love instead of the ones mentioned above. Finally, we have menstrual cups. Menstrual cups are made up of medical grade silicon and as yet have no harsh consequences on the human body. The way they work is that menstrual cups create suction in your vagina and can collect blood for up to eight hours without any leakage. A menstrual cup can be reused for up to 10 years. Gaia is a brand aimed specifically for people starting off with menstrual cups. It might not be the best option if you're a woman who has given birth and you might want to check larger cups by Serona or the Women's Company. Be Safe, on the other hand, is a brand which has a specifically extra small cup for teenagers under the age of 18. So while inserting a menstrual cup in your vagina might seem like a very difficult task, there are several resources on the internet which will help you do the same. It might be a little bit difficult at the first try. With multiple tries, it does get easier. So medical grade silicone is not hazardous for the environment, but is also not biodegradable. Moreover, it cannot be easily recycled because many organizations do not accept silicon. Finally, make sure that the menstrual cups you use are FDA approved. The two cups mentioned above are FDA approved. So there you go. Here are four alternatives to regular plastic-based menstrual hygiene products. They aren't all expensive and can be more or less easily accessed from anywhere in the country. That's it for today. Bye.